watching South Connect. This segment brings all the latest news and updates from the states of South. Let's go first to Andhra Pradesh. In a fresh allegation against BJP, Chief Minister N. Chandrababu Naidu on Thursday said that the BJP was adopting divide and rule policy by pitting Telangana against Andhra Pradesh. In a reference to Telangana Rashtriya Samiti now becoming a rival for TDP in Andhra Pradesh, Chandrababu Naidu said that the two sibling states were living like brothers till now, but the BJP was trying to drive a wedge between them to weaken the Telugu Desam government in Andhra Pradesh. Referring indirectly to the issue of non bailable arrest warrant against him, Naidu said that no one can do anything to him since he was known as a leader for all. Now let's move on to Telangana. In yet another incident after a customer found a caterpillar inside veg pulao at IKEA, yet another customer shared a tweet that he has found an insect crawling inside a chocolate cake that he had ordered. The customer alleged that he had found a fly in a brown chocolate cake which he ordered for his daughter. He also shared the image of it along with the bill. Now let's move on to Karnataka. In a remark by BJP that drew rage, Karnataka Chief Minister H.T. Kumar Swami on Thursday warned BJP to be restrained in its speech about his father, former Prime Minister H.T. Devagora and his family, adding that he can even ask people to rise in revolt if it continued to disturb his government. Targeting the former Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa over his remark, an angry Kumar Swami asserted that the government was under his command. Kumar Swami lost his cool over Yadurappa's alleged statement where he reportedly said his sole objective was to finish off father's sons. To which Kumar Swami said, if you dig too much, then we too have many things at our disposal. Now let's move on to Kerala. The interrogation of Bishop Franco Mullakal, who has been accused by a nun of raping her, got underway for the third day at a high-tech interrogation cell in the crime branch office today. Superintendent of Police of Kottayam, who is leading the interrogation team, had told the media on Thursday night that the interrogation will be wrapped up on Friday. The bishop has been interrogated for over 15 hours in the last two days. Now let's move on to Tamil Nadu. Indian tennis legend Vijay Amrit Raj was unanimously elected as the president of the Tamil Nadu Tennis Association. The change was necessary as the outgoing president M.A. Alagappan had completed nine years in office. Amrit Raj, who was responsible for bringing the India Open from New Delhi to Chennai, promised to further elevate the city's tennis culture. That's all for today in South Connect. For more news updates, log on to www.hwnews.com. If you like this video, please share it and we would love to hear your comments in the comments section down here. Also, please do like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter to get minute-to-minute -minute news updates. For more such shows and videos, well, subscribe to our YouTube channel.